Hey what's up guys welcome back you are watching for tech 3 months back we created a video review of one of the best android 13 based custom rom cherry shows 4.0 for the oneplus 6 and 60 developer vikas ak optimus was well maintained with that rom but suddenly its development got halted as the rise of sources are closer from few days developer again started the official development for the cherry shows and we got the first official build of android 13 based cherry shows 4.3 I am using the unofficial build of Evolution X 7.4 on my OnePlus 6. Now time came to change the ROM, so I downloaded the ROM zip file which has GIFs included. Flashing of ROM is same like we did for the old build. Boot your phone into the TWRP, flash the ROM zip file, then tap on Advanced and then tap Flash Current TWRP, reboot back to the TWRP and format data, then reboot to the system. So today in this video we will check the performance comparison of this build with the Rise Droid and Evolution X. We will test its basic functions like safety net, encryption, etc. We will also check the new features available in the ROM and finally I discuss some bugs in the ROM along with my final verdict. So watch the video till the end. Now with the further ado, let's get started. <laughs> So phone started to boot into the Cherry Shows boot animation. ROM comes with the Pixel Launcher. Now let's jump to the about phone to check the details of the ROM. At the top, we get the currently running wallpaper picture of your device. Beside that, we get the information regarding the Cherry Shows version. This is the Cherry Shows 4.3. This is the official build supported by our favorite developer Vikas Akoptimus. This is the same Android 13 base ROM with the old material clock aesthetic. Security patch version is of latest December 2022. This is the Prima scanner with the version number 4.9.309, built it with the latest Clang 2 Gen 14. Kernel is in forcing. ROM is built it on the latest 27 December 2022. So this ROM is based on the all the latest Android 13 sources and it's a welcome gift for all the OnePlus 6 and 60 users on the eve of New Year 2023. Now let's check out the performance comparison of this build with the Rise Droid and Evolution X. In the initial impression, ROM is felt very snappy and fast. All the applications are running on the 60 FPS. Even if you open the camera application, it also runs on the 60 FPS. So ROM is fully running on the 60 FPS, so performance is top notch. When I ran the Geekbench test, I got the score of 516 and 2238 for the single core and multi core respectively. These scores are the highest result I got in any of the Android 13 based custom ROM till the date. If you check the Evolution X and official build results, there I got 508 and 1923, while for the Rise Droid we got 495 and 1955. So as compared to the all the ROMs, multi-core performance of this ROM is outstanding. When I ran the test for the Vulkan Graphics API, I got the score of 1840. While for the Rise Droid and Evolution X, we got the score of 2015 and 2030 respectively. So all the three ROMs has the almost similar results. Only slight difference is there. In overall comparison, this ROM is much more superior in terms of the multi-core CPU results. If you ask what is working, the answer is everything: Wi-Fi, Wi-Fi hotspot, OLT calling, GPS, Bluetooth, NFC, auto brightness, alert slider, fingerprint, face unlock, etc. all the basic functionality with the all the sensors are working so i will not waste the time in showing everything here so i will head over to the major points like safety net rom is passing the safety net so you can run any security related application without any issues rom storage is encrypted so even if your device got stolen no one can decrypt its storage rom has call recording feature in the dialer and you get all the recorded calls in the call log section google photos application has the unlimited photo backup Next is the camera. ROM comes with the Lineage OS Aperture Camera application. It's a basic camera app that we've seen in the last reviews of the custom ROM. But now they added the 4K recording and it's working very good. And the quality of pictures in this camera is better than the Gcam. If you install the Gcam MGC build, it has the night sight portrait mode for the front and the back camera are working. In the video recording, slow motion is still buggy, but time lapse is working well. Video recording has the video stabilization working but the 4K 60 fps is still not working in the ROM. Panorama mode and the photosphere modes are working well except this camera has the HDR mode 
and some other advanced features but still it needs the major improvement in the camera quality because i didn't like the gcam pics especially selfie cameras as compared to the stock camera now it's time to show you the some unique customizations in the main setting of the rom we get the cherry setting here we get all the traditional customizations well arranged in the different tabs like we seen in the evolution x and the cyber os in the status bar tab we get the background chip for the status bar clock In the QS setting tab, we get the QS panel transparency slider. We can increase or decrease the QS panel transparency, which is giving the different look to the panel. There we also get the QS panel clock size slider. By using this, we can increase or decrease the clock size of the QS panel. We can hide the labels of the QS panel tiles along with the enabling the vertical layout of the panel. This both the settings also gives the unique look to the QS panel. Now it comes the most important part that is themes. In the themes tab, we get the settings layout option. Here we get the different new presets for the setting, like the Oxonus 11, Oxonus 12, Cherish and Cherish Clean. You can check its preview on the screen. Another tab we get is the user interface style. Here we get the bunch of the different user interface. which will completely change your device look some of the themes like the project optronic solution will give completely different wallpaper based look of the setting panel you can check some of these themes on the screen QS panel style option has the different styles for the QS panel like the outline, two tone ascent and the color pop up. All of this completely overall the look of your QS panel. Under the buttons tab you get the volume rocker wake up and it's working without issues. Under the animation tab you get the power menu animations. There are lots of the animations for the power menu are available here. You can check them on the screen. In the lock screen setting, we get the edge lighting notification for the Always On display screen, and it's working in the ROM. Music Pulse is also working well on the Always On display on the lock screen and on the navbar. In the Power Menu tab, we get the another unique setting for the changing the background opacity and dimming the background for the Power Menu. In the Miscellaneous setting, we get the Game Space Smart Charging option, which helps to limit the charging at the specific intervals, so we can lengthen the battery life of your device. Other spoofing toggles are also available here, but they are not working. So these are all the customizations offered by the Cherry OS. Some of other features we will find under the OnePlus setting, which we already seen in the old videos like automatic high brightness mode, DC dimming, vibration haptic controls, etc. So we discussed all the major customizations in the ROM. Now it's time to show you the bugs and the issues. First is the ROM comes with the L3 security in the DRM info application. So we can't stream the Netflix and the Amazon Prime at the full HD resolution, but this issue is present in all the ROMs. Another issue is the no OK Google Voice activation setting in the Google application, but we can access the Google Assistant voice swapping on the corners. ROM has the double tap to wake on the lock screen setting and the gestures tap, but it's not seamlessly working. Sometime it works and sometime it's not. Except this bug, everything is very good regarding the battery life. I need to test the battery life for the two days, then I will report the results via community post. So until then, if you think this will help you, then please do like, share, subscribe, and press the bell icon for the notifications of our upcoming content. Thanks for watching. See you next time. Take care. Bye bye.